my friends um today's video is going to be making of this sort of chemise a la reine inspired uh little garment um it's a it is as usual a top and a skirt because i sort of like to have that flexibility just in case and also i hate um i hate attaching bodices to like skirts to make dresses like it always for some reason never really turns out right for me so i try to do it as little as possible and also i guess it's sort of not historically accurate for this um but more historically accurate for the victorians i suppose anyway um the first part is just me cutting out fabric not really anything interesting i'm using um a bodice pattern that i modified from an uh, like the original simplicity pattern i think it's either simplicity or buttering like summer dress i have the video on my channel i'll link it but um yeah i modified it from that and i've kind of used it for a couple more projects so it's it's starting to veer away from what it originally looked like and then you know here i'm just sort of i guess i'm trying to pin um sleeve pattern on and uh i kind of modified the sleeve pattern a little bit uh, I did end up making it a little bit wider, um, which might might not have been the best idea because it ended up being very, very um, thick. Because this cotton quilting, even though I thought, oh, it's not very thick, it did end up becoming quite thick. So, yes, thick with three C's. Obviously you should baste them, but I'm too lazy to, so I just kind of pinned it, um, pinned like the ruching and stuff, and then I will sew it. So that's one side and the other side. And this was the point where I decided that I wanted the entire thing to be done within the day. So I used a circle skirt sort of pattern. I have a sort of teased circle, circle skirt pattern um, because I wanted an opening at the back so I could get into it. Uh, I just traced actually one of my own circle skirts. And, and, and then the lace part was slightly bigger or at least as big as i could get it because i was running out of lace at this point um then the actual fashion fabric so it's a little bit bigger it i wish it was a lot bigger but you know hello so it is the next day um I just need to finish the skirt brace band and then the closures. So what I've done is to do like pin cotton tape onto the waistband and I'm going to zigzag this on because um, we're all about the same time here. And then I'm going to attach um, ribbon and then I'll figure out the closures later.
So I did end up rushing this, so I kind of forgot to film. Um, and I guess I will explain some of the things that I did off camera, which is actually not a lot. Um, basically just sewing everything together. So, um, so the sleeves, um, I just threaded the silver ribbon through, which honestly, it's not great ribbon. And also, um, as you can see, the ribbon that I cut, um, it's kind of fraying a little bit because I cut it and then inner um inner locket i kind of forgot how to say that word and as for here as you can see the neckline um i actually uh stitched the ribbon here so i didn't have to put it all the way through um because i was being very lazy and also i will say um threading the ribbon through uh was also quite difficult because I because some of as you can see because this fabric is kind of ruched it kind of got so like the because I used um, a safety pin so the safety pin would get stuck in between it so um, I ended up having to cut holes at the back so to kind of thread the ribbon to push the ribbon out so yeah I don't really recommend it um, yeah I don't really recommend it but other than that like I think you know, it looks pretty okay. Um, I'll show you like videos of me dancing with it and stuff. And as for the skirt, as you can see, okay, I didn't, uh, I haven't, as you can see, those, those are not finished. I have not finished those yet. Um, but I have sewed the ribbon on. Um, I used a zigzag stitch. I think I, I think I might have said that. Um, just to save time. And then, um, just some snaps. Yeah, so it's a really nice, like, sort of ballet-ish outfit, even though I don't do ballet, I just do other things, but yeah.